Something strange is happening in the constellation Orion. One of the brightest and most massive stars in our sky has been behaving unpredictably. It dims in slow, irregular rhythms. It pulses with energy. It even rotates faster than it should for a dying star. And now, astronomers are wondering if this cosmic giant is actually part of a hidden stellar duet. At the center of this story is Betelgeuse, a colossal red supergiant so large it would engulf the inner planets if placed at the center of our solar system. Yet despite its brilliance, something else may be influencing its every move, something we haven't seen directly. A subtle force, a companion star, a mystery wrapped in stellar winds and cosmic dust. In this episode, we'll explore what clues scientists are uncovering why Betelgeuse's strange behavior has turned heads, and how this mystery could reshape our understanding of how massive stars live and how they die. Betelgeuse, the prominent red star marking Orion's shoulder, has fascinated astronomers for centuries. But recent decades have revealed that this massive supergiant is not just big, it's volatile. In late 2019, it captured global attention when its brightness plummeted. The dramatic fade sparked speculation that it might be about to go supernova. But follow-up studies revealed the dimming was caused by a large dust cloud, possibly formed from stellar material that Betelgeuse had ejected. While the explosion didn't happen, the event raised a bigger question. What's going on inside or around this star? Betelgeuse's brightness has long shown periodic fluctuations, but one cycle in particular stands out, a slow, repeating pattern every 2,100 days. These long secondary periods aren't easily explained by internal pulsations alone. Their regularity suggests an external influence, possibly the gravitational tug of another object. That theory gained momentum as astronomers proposed the existence of a companion star, a small, low-mass stellar body orbiting Betelgeuse every six years. If true, it would be situated at a distance comparable to Saturn's orbit around the Sun. To investigate, a team led by Jared Goldberg used the Hubble Space Telescope's STIS spectrograph, targeting far ultraviolet wavelengths that could reveal a hot, faint companion. The observations were carefully timed, targeting a point in the suspected orbit when such a star would be most detectable. Yet no definitive companion emerged. Betelgeuse's intense brightness and surrounding dust made the search exceptionally difficult. Still, the absence of visual confirmation didn't negate the mounting circumstantial evidence. Many scientists believe the companion may be simply too dim or obscured by Betelgeuse's glare, to detect with current instruments. Instead of closing the case, the Hubble results intensified the mystery. The clues, light fluctuations, shifting spectral patterns, and unexpected surface movements all suggest that something or someone is gravitationally interacting with this aging giant. The idea of a hidden companion orbiting Betelgeuse is more than just intriguing. It could be the missing piece that explains decades of anomalies. One of the star's biggest surprises is its fast rotation. Betelgeuse spins at about 5 to 15 kilometers per second, far faster than what models predict for a red supergiant in its twilight years. On its own, the star should have slowed down long ago. But if a smaller star is orbiting close enough, it could be exerting tidal forces that keep Betelgeuse rotating faster similar to how the moon affects tides on Earth. Then there's the LSP, the 2100-day cycle of subtle brightness changes. These variations aren't random. They're clockwork, consistent. A nearby object tugging at Betelgeuse's envelope could explain why the outer layers expand and contract in ways not accounted for by internal dynamics alone. The theory also aligns with broader trends in stellar evolution. Most massive stars form in binary or multiple star systems. So for Betelgeuse to be a true loner would actually be the outlier, not the rule. 
Some scientists have also suggested that Betelgeuse's strange behavior might stem from a past stellar merger, where it absorbed a smaller companion long ago. This could explain some of its rotation and mass properties. However, that doesn't account for the ongoing, rhythmic changes in brightness and motion that we're still observing today. A present-day companion provides a better fit for the evidence. Crucially, while this secondary star wouldn't stop Betelgeuse from reaching its inevitable end, it might shape the journey. Interactions with a companion could influence how the star sheds mass, forms dust clouds, and changes in structure before it eventually explodes. Understanding this interplay is vital, not just for Betelgeuse, but for all massive stars nearing the ends of their lives. What we learn here could inform how we detect, model, and even anticipate supernova events across the galaxy. If Betelgeuse truly has a hidden partner, it would have profound implications for how we understand massive stars and their life cycles. First, it would provide a real-world example of how red supergiants interact with lower mass companions. Binary interactions are already known to influence many dramatic cosmic events, like Type Ia supernovae and neutron star mergers. But Betelgeuse offers a new kind of case, a massive, bloated star showing subtle signs of a companion's influence before its final act. Second, it could transform our understanding of stellar mass loss. Betelgeuse is surrounded by complex clouds of dust and gas, likely ejected from its outer layers. A close orbiting companion might be helping to shape or even trigger these ejections, disturbing the outer envelope and creating the dramatic dimming events we observe. What might appear to be a spontaneous burp of dust could actually be a gravitational nudge from a smaller star. Third, this discovery could fine-tune how we predict supernova readiness. By examining how companions affect mass, spin, and envelope structure, we gain tools to better estimate when stars like Betelgeuse are nearing explosion. While it could still be tens of thousands of years away, Betelgeuse is a critical lab for pre-supernova behavior. So where do we go from here? Future observatories like the James Webb Space Telescope and upcoming X-ray and UV missions could deliver the resolution and wavelength sensitivity needed to detect the elusive companion directly. Infrared instruments might cut through the dust, while UV and X-ray tools could reveal energy signatures from the orbiting object itself. Meanwhile, Earth-based telescopes will continue tracking Betelgeuse's brightness curves motion, and spectral fingerprints. If the 2,100-day cycle continues on schedule, it gives astronomers more chances to test predictions about the companion's location and influence. What makes this investigation so exciting is that the star involved is one of the most visible to the naked eye. We're not looking at some obscure object in a distant galaxy. We're watching a familiar neighbor and it might be harboring secrets we're only just beginning to understand. As our instruments improve and our models evolve, we may soon catch a clear glimpse of Betelgeuse's silent partner, whether it turns out to be a small star, a substellar object, or something unexpected, it will change how we think about the evolution and fate of the most massive stars. One thing's certain, Betelgeuse is far from ordinary and its final act may be more complex and more spectacular than we ever imagined.